All right, so we're just leaving San Diego Harbor. We're <laughs> heading all the way down to Ensenada, back of the boat, oh, sitting on bean bags. It's gonna be three days of fishing, and we're starting right now. So this boat is coming to rescue us. Glad we got rescued by this boat. Yeah, we'll be out here till O Dark 30. We're gonna see how many fish we can catch before the girls are done with their uh, beauty massages. Sand bass, calicos, bonefish. We are gonna hang out in the bay and crush some spotties. ton of fish on this first point we're gonna go try another one see what we can do so far so good Pretty much right up against the structure now is an understatement. You're clear by about five feet since you we're actually touching <laughs> the structure. <laughs> nice. Crushed it in this area. It's over 100 fish. Definitely over 100 fish, but we're greedy. We're catching and releasing. So we're gonna go try another area. Ugh, what's all over it? We're fishing in the back part of the harbor where all the industrial crap is. This fish literally smells like crap. It puked all this stuff up. I'm afraid to touch this fish. <laughs> Just cut the line. <laughs> Here we are in Hypodermic Bay. <laughs> yeah, Hypodermic Bay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's disgusting. Let's get out of here and go have a nice dinner at the hotel. The bay was awesome yesterday. We lit it up over probably 150 <laughs> fish between the three of us in about three hours. Today, day two, super exciting. We're gonna catch more fish, probably a lot bigger fish. It's definitely gonna be a great day. You're pretty. <laughs>
calicos start spawning, they get their spawn colors. Orange cheeks like that. biggest red that I ever cut. This was now. <laughs> so we're out in front of the islands in Ensenada and we were in about 118 feet of water. We came across a nice rise. Actually fishing in about 35 feet of water. Super cool. Behind me are some absolutely gorgeous snow-capped mountains. I've been told these are the uh, the Mexican Swiss Alps. It just smells like crap around here. By the end of the day, you still want to fish, but you want to chill too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Chad, don't get this off my hood. <laughs> heading back and we saw this foil and a bunch of birds just diving at the water and now they're catching tons of mackerel and palm. But there could be a yellowtail in here. So we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> and it almost it almost yanked it right out of her hand. <laughs> That's okay. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah. It's good babe. Just let the rod and the drag do all the work. Okay? Yeah. yeah around us, we're good. Good job, you got it. He's running, but we're following him. Oh, yeah. I love hook up things. <laughs> Keep going. Good job, you got it. It's gotta be good. Oh, I see color. Woo! Oh, yeah. those of you who might be curious, we are not taking all of those fish home and just gorging ourselves on redfish. We elected to give a ton of those fish to the locals who have helped us out here. So they're going to be super blessed. We're going we're gonna to be presenting them with a ton of good fish. I think we've probably caught 250, uh, maybe upwards of 300 fish, right? It's been an absolutely crazy trip full of lots of fishing, right baby? But we're going to go and do some more today on the way home. So we saw a boil. Fish were blowing up everywhere, so we pitched at them, and it looks like Frank's on something pretty cool. What do you want to, Frank? It's yellow. Schooly side yellow. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little yellowtail. 
Oh yeah. Coming around. Woo! <laughs> Better than a cup of coffee. One and a half sardine bullet. Well done, my friend. Well played. Jojo's on a yellowtail. Feel like a monster? Definitely a yellowtail caught on a red crab. Let's bring it in and see what it looks like. Incredible trip. We are done. Hardcore three days of fishing. Super fun. It's time for a vacation now.